Scientists like Beth Sosick have spent plenty of days knee deep in water like this, gathering bugs that help reveal signs of stream quality. Decades of this work produced new studies showing most streams in King County are getting healthier or staying stable. Now that we know that the things that we're doing are making a difference, we should lean into that and we should do more. We shouldn't just settle for the status quo. Streams near newer developments are doing better than some near older developments. Scientists believe stricter environmental regulations and better education on preventing pollution are helping. Still, development does make an impact. Streams are healthiest in places where there's the most amount of forest, and they're the least healthy in places that are highly urban and developed. And this study isn't changing that. We're still seeing this diagonal line in stream health, but we are seeing that diagonal line shift up and up and up. A rising tide is lifting all the boats. We've always known that that was possible. The county says better controlling stormwater runoff reducing toxins and pathogens, and restoring forests will all be key to balancing growth with care for habitats. In Seattle, Eric Izuko, King 5 News.